You're on the last health. You're on the last health. The last health here. That's not enough to block his aura. Oh, I guess it was. Okay. Oh, I know you did zero. Okay, never mind. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Good one. Oh, nice! He's you almost got it! You almost got it! You almost got it! Nice! Just one more attack! Nice! Woohoo! <laughs> it was a silent boss fight! <laughs> oh, wow! wow. What do you think? I'm hoping that's the second to last boss fight in this game. What do you think of all my abilities? I thought that was really good. Thank you. You did a good job. I need to know how good I am at on a scale, chain of memories. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say 7.5. And then watch it like, didn't record the footage corrupts. <laughs> I actually looked at his recording. <laughs> We're good. <clears throat> Should I not talk to him? <sighs> I don't See, I don't know what comes after this. It's been so long since I played this game. I would save, yeah. Good, That's good why call. I'm going here. Good call. Very good call. 30 hours. <sighs> That's 30 hours too much. You know, I'm honestly excited for Riku's, though. Yeah. Are you or not really? I am, because I've never played it. Mm -hmm. I think I played, like, the first mission, and that was it. So. Riku! Want some more? Ah! Riku! Looks like I win. Riku! Stop! You are through! <sighs> I said stop! Riku? Riku? Riku! He's dead. <laughs> what did you do? What did you do to him? Broke his heart. I'd say more like she smashed it, really. Smashed? His heart? Then what's gonna... what's gonna happen to Riku? <laughs> oh, you're so much fun to watch. If it's Riku you're worried about, then don't. Because Riku was never really here. What do you mean? Do you really think I'm just gonna say it? That's too easy. <laughs> oh, what to do? Quit the games! <sighs> uh. <sighs> All right, have it your way then. I know it'll kill you to hear this, but I think I can live with that. That thing lying there is just a puppet that Vexen made as an experiment. No more than a toy. It's laughable, really. It called you a fake, but it was the fabrication all along. Not Riku. A fake? Fake in every possible way. It was only finished recently. How could it remember anything? You get it? Its memories with Namine were just planted, not real. Yep, that means all this time it's been picking fights with you over memories that were counterfeit, trumped up, and completely bogus. Isn't that the truth, Namine? Oh, so cute. But behind this little face, you do awful things. <laughs> Namine? You're so stupid. Don't you get it now? That's what Namine's powers are about. She can enter, rearrange, and even create new memories of anything, even things that never happened. The girl you've been trying to protect all this time is really a manipulative witch who shackles people's hearts. Oh, then my memories are all... Oh, you do get it. Lies, lies, all lies. Just Namine's illusions, nothing more. Binding you in the chains of your own memory was central to our trap. It makes me tingle to think how easily you were duped. 
so close to it. We were almost there. This was our only chance to turn the Keyblade Master into our puppet, but that jerk Axel, he used Nominate to betray us. <sighs> so now, I'm left with no choice but to eliminate you. You'll pay. Don't! Huh? It's a little late for the witch to grow a conscience. Last time I checked, you're the one who fooled around with his memories creating this mess. I know, but... I should tell you that I'm in an extremely foul mood. Thanks to you, all our plans are ruined! <laughs> Nominee! What's this? Are you upset? <laughs> and you don't even actually know her. Maybe not. But still, I made a promise. What? A promise I made to Nominee to keep her safe. Maybe my memories are fake, but the promise is real to me. <sighs> That's why I'll keep it. <laughs> You're such an idiot. There is no promise, and there never was. You're just delusional. Must you insist on playing the hero? <gasps> Whatever. If that's the way you want it, you're going down alone! Why did we get strapped here? Uh-huh. Donald! Goofy! You found me! Of course we did! We were worried about you! And we promised! We promised that we would protect you! Never be alone. It's always been the three of us, and we stick together. And that is how it's going to stay. Okay. Have it your way. More pain for you means more fun for me. I think we. Do, I think the answer is just we need more CP. Uh, we have a thousand. How much more can we get? Sorry. Are you really asking me how much more CP we could get? I have terabytes on my computer. It's not, I'm not asking. It's a uh, it's a hypothetical. Okay. Hey, so by the way, people have been bringing this up, and I want your opinion on this. When a bad person does a bad thing in media, and they're portrayed as bad, do you think that that is glorifying said behavior? No. No, neither do I. So, like, say you put. Uh, Mr. Adolf in your movie mm -hmm. and he does the big bad train scenario. The big bad train. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Like, is he now... I don't know why I did this. Just give me a minute. I, I have PTSD, so I picked it. Okay. <laughs> is he now, like... Is the movie being like, oh, yes, it was a good thing he did that? Or is the movie just being like, hey, look at the bad guy doing a bad thing? I mean, I've always seen it as just... You know, that's a bad person, and he's doing bad thing. Because he's a bad person. Correct. And so, like, it's the same in a movie as it is anywhere else. Like, just because a bad... Like, you're you're not endorsing the behavior by showing that it happened. Right. Isn't this the same argument with, like, tearing down statues of, like, Christopher Columbus and pretending he never existed when he, like, clearly did and did some bad shit? And instead just, like, acknowledge that he did some bad shit? and move on like you know what i mean right like it's the same thing well also my thing is it's, it's not this deep right you know like there, there's people that's just like well actually it's glorifying it's like no it's not it's just saying here's a bad guy from germany doing what bad guy from germany actually did in real life by the way it was bad by the way yeah it was bad uh that's it right you know like i don't think anyone out there is like Wow. Actually, this is a good thing. It's like, no, it's not. Well, I'm sure there's someone out there that says that, but... Well, yeah, I mean... But, like, no, <laughs> nobody just putting it in a movie, really, is being like, hey, it's great. No. 
Like, do you watch, like, Schindler's List and are like, this is a great thing because it's in Schindler's List? I honestly think some people would. Like, I don't get that. I think some people are so stupid <laughs> okay. that they would do that. That makes sense. So the reason that this question came up for me is because, do you remember in Teen Titans The Judas Contract, not Teen Titans The Jewish Contract, that was the one <laughs> that with was the elf one. in it. That was my favorite um, Teen Titans. When uh, Slade randomly was grooming, uh, was it Terra? Or who was it in that one? I think was it, it was Terra. I think so, yeah. Well, anyway, you, do you remember this? Like, where he was grooming that girl. Yeah. And, like, she was trying to get him to sleep with her. Do you remember that? Yeah, I remember that. And I actually think in the comics he did. Um, that would make sense. But in this, he didn't. Do you remember that? He was just using her. Yeah. And then she tried to get him to f*** her, and he was like, no. You know? Mm-hmm. But, like, she thought he was in love with her. Right. Because he was emotionally abusing and manipulating her, right? Yeah, emotional abuse makes you in love, yeah. Yeah. But she, well, a lot of times victims think it does. Uh, so she um, was being groomed and abused, whatever. My point that I'm getting to is I've seen all these galaxy brain people. Can you guess where it is? <laughs> Probably on Bird app. Yes, on Twitter. <laughs> saying that that movie was glorifying pedophilia. By including that. What? Yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> yep. I don't understand that. It's... Okay, what I think it comes back to for me is I feel like... I feel like our world has gotten to a point where they cannot handle any strife in their life at all. Right, but it's this isn't just... even in their life. This is in a movie. Well, I know, but it's just like... Everyone wants so badly to live in some utopia that it's just like, oh no, oh, this thing's happening, we can't have that in because it's glorifying. It's like, no, it's not. It's just a bad thing. Can I get past and this it's, guy? I think you probably can jump over him. It's like, it's a bad thing, and it was put in the movie because the movie can have bad stuff in it too. And Slade's evil. And right. Deathstroke is evil in that. Right. Like, it's literally showing that he is preying on this girl's um, need to be loved. Where do I go to get out of this room? I don't, I don't know. Down below, maybe? Oh, there okay, it is. Okay, thank you. He's preying on this girl's need to be loved in order to get her to betray her friends. Right. Because she's, like, so f***ed in the head. Yeah. Like, it's, it's not... It's not that deep. They go out the left door. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Like, that's all it is. And most versions of Deathstroke are not a pal. In fact, I would actually argue, and now this is just me, I would actually argue that that version of Deathstroke, unless more happened that we don't see on screen, isn't a pal. I think he was just using her and making her think he liked her. Well, also But he had no attraction to her. Didn't he turn her down? Yes. Yeah, so, so he's not a pal. So that's what I'm saying is like he's evil and I think that he man emotionally manipulated her to make her think that he loved her. Right. I think in the comics at that point he was being pedophilic. Right. Because he slept with a teenager. Right. Mm -hmm. And he was like 40. Well. So I mean that's pretty far. What is a trillion? You're right. I'm sorry. I'm trans age. But <laughs> um, you know at that point sorry we got J.K. Rowling over here. <laughs> at that point you know it's like he turned her down, so unless... We already saw all this. Yeah. Unless something happened off-screen that we don't know about, he never slept with her. He just made her think that he wanted her. Right. Whereas in the comics, he actually was being a p*** mm -hmm. by doing that. So my point I'm getting to is, like, it's not even glorifying anything, because, like, that thing didn't happen anyway. Right. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's like... You're saying that it's bad because he's a pedophile, but he's not. Right. Like, he's not even one in that. Right. Oh, great. I remember this being a pain in the ass. I think everyone's life is pretty good when, like, this is the stuff they cry about. <laughs> you know, it's like... Yeah, unfortunately, people don't get that. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I hear or see something about... Twitter, I just get upset. You get upset? <laughs> yeah, it's like, what is the point of this? 
I don't know. She has a lot of zeros. Also, what is she saying? Spanish? She's saying vanish. Oh, I thought she said Spanish. <laughs> no, she did not say Spanish. Okay. Wow, could she do that faster? Oh, no, oh, no. I don't know. <laughs> what? I'm just having a Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite country? What's your favorite language? Yeah. Spanish. <laughs> Okay, now we take a chance on Don. She has so much health. Come on, Don. Don't do... Okay, good. What if Donald did the... the lightning? I would've been really pissed. That was a really deep question I asked you there. I gave you a really deep answer, too. <laughs> hey, did she say, question. I'm so bad? I thought she said, I'm so mad. You want me so bad. I don't know what she says because she's a woman and I don't understand women. I have a weird attraction to Larxene. I know you don't get it. I don't have a, an attraction to Larxene. I don't know what it is. I saw a thing the other day of her making out with Aqua and it kind of, you know. Do you think she's... Do you think she's just hot because of her body or do you think she has like a hot personality? Body. Like, Like you're into like women dominating. No, no, no. Oh, God. Uh, it's, the, it's her face and body. Got it, got it. So if you like put duct tape over her mouth or something, you you could be fine with it. Yes. That sounded Stop kinda bad. Doing but... this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no. Come on. Oh no, oh no. Spanish! Nice. Well now you need to heal. Nice. You got a Kiraga in there. Let's do Goofy Smash. No, no! Why is she... She? Why is he using that? Okay, thanks, Goofy. Well, Goofy and Donald in, the, in these boss fights in this game are worthless. Yeah, that's true. Having a bit of a hard time on this one. Yeah. I might need a little practice. That's okay. Nice, wow. I did a lot of damage. I want you so bad. Oh, she said I feel so bad. Well, that's another uh, code word for she wants you. Alright, this is really annoying. Get out of here with the Spanish. <laughs> where where are my healing cards? There. Nice, nice. Let's, let's hit her with Goofy. Come on, do something. Come on, Goofy. Oh, whoa, hey, Goofy's doing a lot there. Wow, wow, Goofy actually did a lot. Yeah, he actually helped. Wow, nice work, Goofy. Lightning. Nice work, Goofy, like he heard you. <laughs> Goofy's like listening in. He's like, thanks, dude. Oh, nice. Man, I really needed that to carry me through the day. <laughs> come on, well, you are, Megavolt. you're over halfway. Do your Megavolt, come on, come on. Megavolt, Megavolt. You're over halfway there. Do it. Help me. Help me, help me. Nice. Wow. Okay, why is she, what is she doing here? Can you like, block that? I can't do oh, anything. Okay. Oh, oh. How long is this attack? I don't know. <laughs> like, this is like, what is going on with this attack? What's <laughs> the longest attack I've ever seen in my life? Okay, you have two. You have two left. What? What? How fast did she have it's that? Because this character has all zeros, basically. This is ridiculous. Nice. You smell like fart. <laughs> Spanish. Okay. This is ridiculous. 1824 that attack is. Nice. One more one more bar left and then you're down to the last one. I don't. Got him. <laughs> Come on, come on, psycho cards! I couldn't, it wouldn't do it. You can't do it while getting hit. Oh my. This game sucks. Genuinely, I, I try so hard to enjoy this game. I try so hard, and I shouldn't have to. No. I shouldn't have to attempt to like your game. Like, well, maybe actually it's... Just, no, the game is just... It sucks. 
Okay, it's really annoying. I can't imagine playing it on on proud. We're just on standard. Probably should have played it on easy. We probably should have. I don't know how many people have done the proud mode trophy. Too many. I don't. I don't know how. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we need to level up and just get more CP. I, we can level up if you want to. No, well, I don't. I, can't want, I don't beat, want to. If I can't beat it in a time or two, we might have to. I don't want to level up. We might need health. I don't want to play the game. I know. We want to we go do. there. Um, I was gonna say you had. Oh, you had an experience today with EA. With EA, yeah. I don't want to talk about it. It's ma it's mad. I wanted. I wanted you to talk <laughs> okay. about it. So. Me and you were trying to get back into the EA Battlefront 2 game. And I tried logging into my account, which which for reference has probably been, what do we say, like two years since we played that game? Yes. Well, I tried logging into my account today. Or logging into my game, I should say. And it wouldn't even let me get into my account. Because it says, I can't connect to the internet without logging into my EA account. Which is like, okay, fair enough, fine. The problem is, it's making me reset my password to get into my account. Well, in order to reset my password, I need to get into my email, but the email I used when this game came out, which I was in college at the time, so I was still using my uh, high school email instead of my personal email at the time. I don't know why I did it, it was stupid, but... In fact, I probably didn't even have my personal email at the time anyways, but... Anyways, so I used my my high school email, which was my primary email for a while, and then it reset my password. Like, EA themselves reset the password. Wait, you didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. EA was like, well, it's been too long since you've been in here, so you, we reset your password. So I'm like, okay. So they're like, well, we reset, we sent you a, a password reset email to my high school email that I no longer use. Right. Come on. So, oh no! What? <laughs> she has all zeros all the time. It's so stupid. So I can't get into that. So then I tried looking it up online to see what you do, and basically online just said, "Well, log into your EA app account and reset your email there." So I was like, "Okay, fine." So I logged into my EA app account, which now that I'm thinking about it, I probably logged into my other EA account. Because I know I made one for NHL games I played, but I probably was stupid enough to not just have it be the same account. Um, so I reset the password for that account, I think. But it still won't let me get into my other account. Because I don't know my password, and I, don't, and I can't get my email. Because I don't have the email anymore, it doesn't exist. And I can also log in using my EA ID, but I don't know what my EA ID would be that's different than what my other one is. I just, I don't understand. Oh my gosh. So... I don't even know what's happening. Now you're stunned? So essentially I'm basically just at the point where it's like I, I don't know if I can play Battlefront 2 anymore, which I could, which I could always just log into my new account. The problem with that though is then I don't think I would have all my data. Right. So, I'm gonna have to look into it more, but basically it's just the stupidest system I've ever seen in my life. I don't get why I have to have an EA account to play your game. Like, my, my save data should just be on my PlayStation. Yep. Connected to my PlayStation account. Please don't do lightning, please don't do lightning. Good job. It should not it should not ever be like, well, all your saved data is connected to your EA account. It's like, no, this is not how it should be. I have a PlayStation account for a reason, just connect my saved data to there. Yep, totally agree. Cause now it's like now I'm just like stuck like this. Now I'm literally stuck. And I I'm sure there's a way to do it. I'll probably have to contact EA support. But I should not have to contact EA support to get into my game in order to play Battlefront oh, 2. I made a mistake. I think I might have just lost because of it. What was your mistake? I wasted an Omega Elixir. Oh.
on. No, come on! Really? Because she has, like, the biggest cards of all time. Like, there's nothing I can do to stop them. I end up wasting all of my shit. <sighs> Let me heal. Whatever. We need to level up. I think this lady has a CP of count of, like, 2,000. Yeah, well, we we genuinely need to level up. I need health. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do it with this amount of health. I don't know. I'm sure someone can, but I can't. <sighs> Here, want me to level up? Sure. This game is so stupid. Jeez. You know what? Let me try it one more time. Let me let me just try it one more time. I was gonna say I think you can do it. You're getting close every time, and I think you would have done it last time had you uh, used that mega elixir. Well, the problem was that like she randomly had a zero. Yeah. So I used the mega elixir, and then she was like, "No." I think you can do it. I feel like I have to be like Sun Tzu here with the art of war. I know. <laughs> Stupid game. I wish you could see how many cards she had in her deck. Just to know? Yeah, to like, because you know, we can see we have like 17 now. I wish you could see, like, oh, she has five left or something. To know how fast it is she's gonna be until she cycles cards. Nice. Oh, jeez, zero. I couldn't get to it. Nice. Nice! You're almost there, you're almost there. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, nice! Nice! I have to, like... <laughs> you have to, like, channel your inner god there. Yeah, and I can't talk at all during these, because they made them so ridiculous. I know. Who can do this on Proud? Like, I just don't get it. Who can do this on Standard? I can play normal Kingdom Hearts on, like, Proud and Critical. Yeah. I mean, like, and that's not me bragging. I'm just saying I can. But who can do this on Proud? I don't know. No. No. I refuse to lose. To such a bunch of losers. I think I'm... I'm fainting? No, this isn't... The way I... You must be Nominee. It's good to meet you. We're friends of Sora's, and my name is... You're Goofy, and you're Donald. Yeah, but how did you know that? Congratulations, Sora. You finally found your friend. I'm so happy for you. Gee, there sure are a lot of questions. Nominee, I know this probably won't be easy for you. But could you tell us what happened? Of course. I'm transracial. It's my fault after all. I took the people in memories that were inside Sora's heart. And little by little, I replaced them with false memories. Hey, what about Sora's promise? Made up. It was fake. Sora never really promised me anything. Me being with him on the islands. That was a lie, just like everything else. We never met. I was never Sora's friend. And you were never anything more. Either. No. You see, in all of your true memories, I was never really there. Gee, then that must mean it was your magic that made the rest of us lose our memories, too. Is there any way for us to ever get them back? I can fix everything. If we go to the 13th floor. And I'll give you my 13th reason why. <laughs> Bet I know who that is. Was he the fella who made you tamper with all of our memories? If I didn't obey, he said I'd be locked in this castle forever. I've been alone for so long. So you did what he told you to do because you were lonely? I'm so sorry. Don't be. Please don't cry. Oh. Of course. 
I know I really don't have the right to. That's not what I meant. What? It's like this. I'm really not happy about you messing with my memories. But, you know, I can't really get mad at you for it either. These memories you gave me. In my head, I know they're lies. But they still feel right. Like the promise I made. I said I would protect you and that I wouldn't make you cry. Not ever. Namine, if you cry now, I'll feel guilty, like I let you down. So don't cry. Please. Until I get my memories back, smile and try to be happy. It's easier on me that way. Sora. Oh, brother, that's a bit much. It's okay. Sora always gets like this every time he's around a girl. Aw, uh, cut it out. I thought you both lost your memories, too. <sighs> too bad. Good friends don't forget the good stuff. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> there. That's it. That's the nominee I remember. Yeah. I really liked it when you used to smile. Of course, that was really only in my fake memories. But what I'm feeling now definitely isn't fake. It's real. Thank you. Well then, let's go. Oh boy! I can't wait to get my memory back! Nominee, Marluxia is gonna be up there, so maybe you'd better stay down here. Yeah. Maybe you could look after Riku? We'll come get you when it's over. Okay. Please be careful, Sora. I'll be okay. Like, oh jeez, there's a dead body. <laughs> what is this? Whoops, okay. Well, all right. All right, let's go to my 13th reason. I wish I could help Riku. I'm the one who caused his suffering. Damn straight you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a real nice guy, so I don't know why. It's a secret. <laughs> hey. Hey. What if we have to face Axeland? Hey. We're in the background. <laughs> it's just Goofy having, <laughs> Goofy having a breakdown. <laughs> 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 Goofy, would you shut up over there? <laughs> I'm sorry, Sora. <laughs> like another breakdown. <laughs> I was just doing a racist recreation of what I think Native American song sounds like. <laughs> By the way, Sora, have you seen Peter Pan recently? <laughs> That's my favorite world we've gone to. <laughs> I like all the white kids who wear Native American face paint and make fun of them. <laughs> Jeez, Goofy, all right. <laughs> Holy shit. Based Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> Goofy's operating on factory default settings. <laughs> Promises never fade, even if all of our memories do. <laughs> Let's do it. Like during the cutscene too. <laughs> What's up with all the tombstones here? These are all the children I killed before you got here. 